Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to do an updated skincare video for you. I receive a lot of questions about my skin, not just here on YouTube, but in life in general. Uh, people wanting to know how I take care of my skin. This year I will be 41. I'll actually be 41 in just a few weeks. So a lot of people want to know what I do to keep my skin looking the way that it is. Now when I look at myself, I don't think my skin looks terrific, but I do get a lot of people saying, oh my gosh, I can't believe that you're 40. I can't believe you're going to be 41. Have you had work done? Do you get Botox? I absolutely have not had any work done. Can't afford that. I can't afford a Botox. So I kind of had to do the next best thing, which was just find a, a routine that works for me. So um, for those of you that have been with me for a while, if you recall in my last video, I was using the Olay Face Scrubber. Well, when I had cancer, I could not use that face scrubber. It was too rough for me. So... Uh, I was able to purchase, well actually I got this for free, the bank that I do my banking through has a rewards program and we had accumulated so many points that I was able to get a Clarisonic Mia for free. So I went ahead and redeemed my points, I got the Mia and found that this worked best for me at the time. Since then I have obviously continued to use it, I use it every day, I only use it once a day, I either use it at night before bed. If I don't do it before bed, then I use it the next morning. But I only use it once a day. I find that twice a day is a bit much for my skin. So this is what I use to wash my face. Now, depending on whether or not I'm going to use my Clarisonic depends on what type of face cleanser I use. Now currently, if I'm not using my Clarisonic, I will use my Clarins Face Wash. And this is usually in the shower. This is what I use when I'm not using my Clarisonic. And the reason that I don't use this in conjunction with my Clarisonic is because I feel like it's too much. This works great when I just rub it in with my fingers. Um, it, it's great at removing makeup and it's good for people that have combination or oily skin like me. Times when I do use my Clarisonic, I use this new face scrub that I got from Kiehl's. It's the Ultra Facial Cleanser. It's gentle, it doesn't over dry and it doesn't strip. Um, and I wanted to try this. I just got the smaller bottle. Um, it retails at $9. So far, so good. I like this. It doesn't over dry my skin and it works great with my Clarisonic. So after I use my Clarisonic and my face is cleansed, I usually tone. And what I reach for the most is Witch Hazel. I've been using this for a long time. This is actually something that my mom introduced me to when I was a kid and I've just continued to use it since then. I did get away from this for a while, but um, I have to say that it is my favorite type of toner. For those of you that are wondering uh, about the benefits of using Witch Hazel, I will go ahead and list those now for you. Okay, lately I have kind of stepped away from my Witch Hazel. I got this sample from a friend. This is from Kiehl's. It's called Clearly... Every time I do a video, it seems like my husband is outside doing yard work. If you hear that noise, that is a weed whacker. So just do your best to ignore it, because I know I'm really trying hard to ignore that weed whacker. Um, so I got a sample of this from my friend. She works with Kiehl's. And this is the Clarity Activating Toner. It says that it is, has clinically demonstrated to help reverse noticeable skin discoloration and help restore hydration levels for an overall improvement in skin clarity. It says with activated C, white birch, and peony. So, I've been using this only for a very short time now. I haven't had any issues with it. It doesn't burn my skin. Uh, so, so far, so good. If I do notice any changes in my skin using this, I will let you guys know. Uh, right now, because I work indoors and I'm hardly ever outside, my freckles are not really kind of coming through. I don't mind my freckles, my freckles don't bother me, but for those of you that have freckles and you absolutely can't stand them and you want to find something that will help whiten or lighten, uh, you may want to look into this, but like I said, I will let you guys know in a few weeks how this has been working out for me. Okay, masks. I love face masks, but I have to be careful as to which type of face mask I use because it either strips my skin completely or it causes me to break out, so I kind of have to find like that fine line. I do realize that a lot of times you will break out after certain masks because it brings all of the nasty stuff to the surface. So then, so then sometimes it will cause breakouts. I hate that. I hate knowing that I'm going to put some kind of oatmeal mask on my face and I'm going to wake up in the morning with a monster zit right on the end of my nose. Like who wants that, right? Because I know I don't. So I have two masks that I use and I kind of alternate. 
Uh, this mask is from Kiehl's, and I think this was in a haul video that I did some time ago. There goes the weed whacker again. It is the Rare Earth Deep Core Cleansing Mask. I use this, I try to use this once or twice a week. Uh, this is the only mask that I have ever used that does not dry out my face. The only one ever. And I've tried a ton of masks, like the, what is it, the Queen Helene Mint and Julep Mask. Everything else kind of strips my face and makes it feel super tight. But this is the only thing that has not done that to my skin. Now this retails at $23. So for those of you that are looking for a good mask where it's not going to completely break the bank, you may want to try this one from Kiehl's. I really like it a lot. Um, you can use this once or twice a week. Depending on when I decide to use my other mask will dictate how often I use this during the week. Love this stuff. Very happy that I purchased that. Now for those of you that don't know this, it's physically impossible for a pore to shrink. The walls of a pore have no musculature to them. So it's not like you're going to use a mask like this and you're going to have a huge pore and all of a sudden it's going to go like this. But what does happen, and when you do take care of your skin, is if you have enlarged dark pores, that means you have a blackhead. I hate saying that word. But that's what it means, if it's black. So if you take care of your skin and you use face masks or whatever, all the debris that's stuck in your pores will come out, giving the appearance of a smaller pore. You haven't shrunk in it, but the reason that it looks smaller is because you've cleaned it out. So I hope that kind of makes sense for some of you and maybe clear up a little bit of questions that some of you may have as far as like shrinking pores goes because it's physically impossible to shrink a pore. And that's proven, so you can Google that. Okay, the next mask that I use and I do this probably, honestly, anymore, probably twice a month. I would like to do it more, but I don't know, sometimes I just don't have time for it. I wish I had time to do it more often because I would do this, I would do this mask like, I don't know, maybe once a week if I had the time or the energy or even the thought to remember to do it. But the fact that I do it twice a month is a miracle in and of itself. It is a Bizon mask. Um, it's Graham Flower. I got this at a local market by my house. It's a mix of graham flour, honey, and turmeric, and you can either use like almond oil or milk. I just happen to mix it in with milk. It's a great exfoliator. It's great for softening wrinkles and fine lines on your face. It helps to lighten, so if you have any kind of discoloration, age spots, freckles, things like that, this will lighten those the dark areas on your face. It will also help lighten any hair that's on your face. So for those of you that have a lot of facial hair and if it's darker facial hair, this will kind of help bleach out that hair. This is an amazing mask. It did not stain my face at all. So don't be worried um, that if you do decide to do this mask that this is going to stain your face because it doesn't stain at all. So I will leave the recipe for this particular mask that I use for you guys right now. Okay, so I've talked about the type of cleanser that I use on my face, the masks that I like to use, the Clairsonic, which I, I really believe is, it's a great scrubber, I think. It's not harsh, it's gentle, it doesn't kill my skin or dry or anything like that, so I would recommend this. So now we're going to get into what I put on my face at night before I go to bed and when I wake up in the morning. I've tried a lot of things. Since I turned, let's see, I, th I think I started at the age of 27 or 28 is when I really started getting into uh, anti-aging. So since the age of 28, I'm going to say 28, up until now I have been using uh, a, a wrinkle reducer from Rock. That's what I've been using. I've been using this on my skin for a very long time. I believe in this. I know that it works. I have proof that it works. Uh, just on my forehead right here when I first started using this I only used it in the places where I felt like I needed it because at the time I didn't have like any of this going on here and I didn't have the number 11's but I, I put it in specific places so I did put it right in here to kind of help prevent that uh, I put it around my eyes so for the longest time that's where I put it well after a while uh, of using it and I would have to say it was a good maybe nine months maybe even a year I, I looked at my skin really good and noticed that there was a significant change in the skin in this area as opposed to the rest of my forehead. The skin in this area, even to this day, is so much smoother. The pores are less noticeable in this area because of 
this Rock Anti-Wrinkle Cream. There is a retinol correction complex in this. What is this? It's, oh, it says retinol correction. So there's a form of retinol in this. Retinol is the only thing that's proven to reduce the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines on your skin. Now, I may be wrong, so somebody correct me in the comments below. But that's my understanding is that retinol is really the only thing that will help reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So that's what I've been using on my skin since the age of 28. I am now 41 years old. I think my skin looks pretty good. I don't have any lines on my forehead. Uh, just looking at me straight on, like I don't have many visible wrinkles here. I mean, I do see them, especially when I smile, but they're soft. They're not really deep. The only other thing, and I, I really can't help this part, and some of you, because people tell me I'm crazy all the time, but I can see it. And I know some of you will be completely honest with me. But in this area, right here, I really feel like that's where I'm showing my age. I feel like my skin is kind of like, I don't know, like droopy right in here. It's hard to explain. That's the only thing that using this won't help with and that's something that I think I'm just gonna have to deal with is that little bit of like droop that I have there but overall I am very happy with the results that I've had from this I can't complain at all for those of you that are maybe in your late 20s or early 30s I would definitely start now by using something like this at night before bed to kind of help slow down the the aging process but lately I have felt like I needed to kick it up a little bit so I've started using Strivectin on my face. I have a cream for my eyes and then I have one. This one you can use on your face. I've been using this on my neck to kind of help smooth out the wrinkles that I have here. I, I can't stand it and I've noticed it a lot like just looking straight on I don't see them but like there's certain things that I do it's I don't even want to get into it so you know, shame on me for neglecting my neck, but now I'm actually trying to do something about it. So I have these two products. I will let you guys know how these work. I haven't started using this yet because Strivectin has a, a newer retinol cream for nighttime only that I have started using. I've gotten two samples of it. Um, I have enough here for probably two weeks. Uh, Maybe after two weeks I will see a difference in how my face looks. Now I use this all over my face, not just underneath here. And I have to tell you, if you do use anything from, from Strivectin, uh, especially the nighttime face or eye face cream, I wish I could remember the name of the newer one because it's on display at work and when I saw it I was like, I need to try that. Uh, I used this, I woke up in the morning, I noticed that my face looked a little bit brighter, made a big mistake, and I used my Clairsonic. After I used my Clairsonic, I was sitting down and I was getting ready to do my makeup and all of a sudden my face started turning red. My face got so red that when my son walked by my room, he was like, oh my gosh, mom, did you get a sunburn? That's how red it was. So... I mean, of course the redness went away. It didn't stick around. After I'd say about 10 or 15 minutes, it went away. But the Strivectin will give you that like reddish glow. And I guess it's because it is stimulating blood flow under your skin, if that makes any sense. I think in using the Clarisonic, it was an overstimulation. So my face got super red. So the next day, that day I used my Clarisonic before I went to bed. Then I put this on and I washed my face the next morning with my hands and it did get a little bit red but nothing like the day before. So if you are going to use Strivectin, make sure that if you use some kind of face scrubber, face, use the face scrubber first. I can't talk today. Use the face scrubber first, then put on your Strivectin and in the morning wash your face with your hands. Uh, that's my best advice. So, but I... I have noticed a, a change in my skin and I've only used this three times. So we'll see how it looks after about two weeks. Depending on how well this works out for me, I don't, I mean, I'm not sure. I haven't even opened this one yet. Um, I may go back and get this one as opposed to using this. Um, I have been saving up my money. My birthday's coming up and there's this Michael Kors bag that I want. 
If you guys are friends with me on Instagram, you saw the picture. I want this bag so bad, but I think to myself, what do I need more? You know, do I need to take care of my skin or do I need to get the Michael Kors bag? It just, I just don't know what to do. Stupid, right? Okay, so I use the Strivectin. And what I do after I apply the Strivectin is I use my Clarisonic Opal. And I use my Opal around my eyes. I use it right in here, just above my eyebrow on my upper lip and I actually have started using it down here. Uh, people ask me does this work and this is what I say. I haven't noticed a change in my skin. And they'll say well then how do you know it's working and I'll say well because my skin hasn't gotten any worse. I haven't noticed any more wrinkles on my face so something that I'm doing has to be working because I feel like I'm not going to say that the aging process has been halted because ultimately I'm going to get old. It's just a fact of life, right? But I feel like all the products that I'm using are kind of helping to slow that process down. So as far as what I use on my face in the morning before I put my makeup on. Now I've been trying this new cream. Again, it's from Kiehl's. I, I just, I really like Kiehl's. I like Kiehl's products. Uh, and my friend gave me a sample of... I don't know, I'm, I'm not... I'm not sure how to pronounce this, so I'll just kind of like hold it up so you guys can read it but that's what I've been using it's the creased marine I think that's how you pronounce it the ultra rich lifting and firming cream with hyaluronic filling spheres rice and soybean proteins okay and I can say this with all kinds of certainty of all of the face moisturizers and anti-aging moisturizers that I've ever used on my skin this is the only one that I actually felt lifting my face. And that's not an exaggeration. I put it on. Um, I just kind of sat here for a minute or so before I started putting my foundation on. And I could feel my skin getting tighter. This is one thing that I do plan on buying uh, in the very near future to use on my face in the morning. Again, if you need some help with lift, try this. The, this stuff is amazing. Um, before I was using that, and I have I have a ton of samples, so I have enough here to last me for a couple weeks. Before I was using that, I was just using my MAC, what is it, Studio Moisture Fix on my face before I put on my foundation. Um, but this Creased Marine is a miracle in a jar. So, hopefully I have not lost your guys' attention. I hope that some of this helps or gives you some ideas on skincare. And you know what, if you're in your 20s, you're not invincible, your skin is going to age. So start taking care of it now. Use SPF every day. I never leave my house, especially now, because using Strivectin makes your skin very sensitive. You have to use an SPF. So make sure you're using some kind of SPF on your skin. Don't tan. Don't go to a tanning bed. That's the stupidest thing you can ever do. I realize that everybody likes glowy skin. Well, go get a spray tan or put some lotion on that bronzes your skin up. Tanning is the dumbest thing that you can do, and it's not healthy. Not only does it age your skin faster, but it, it causes cancer. If you can prevent something, then do it. Don't tan. I mean, I could say that to I'm blue in the face, do not tan. Dumb. I will call you dumb if you tan. Don't do it. But just take care of your skin. Obviously, you know, the things that I'm using, this, these may not be in your price range. There are great products out there that you can use. You don't have to spend a crap ton of money on Strivectin or Kiehl's or even Clarence. There are so many awesome brands out there that you can use on your skin. If you watch my previous uh, skincare video, that's a good example of uh, inexpensive products that you can use to keep your face clean. Now, the rocks, this, this lotion that I put on my face that I've been using on my face for years and years, it's not expensive. You can get this at Ulta and you can use your 350 off coupon. Just get something and start taking care of your skin. Okay, enough preaching. I am done for now. So you guys, take care. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will see you guys later. Bye.